Welcome to this edition of Gentleman Boozer Tastings. I'm George Maurer, and I am tasting California Distillery's flagship spirit, their California bourbon today. If you happen to watch the very first episode of Gentleman Boozer Season 1, Episode 1, uh, of course, you know, California Distilleries was my, or is, I suppose, my, uh, my feature. And they are a craft distiller located in Southern California, Temecula, to be exact, which is Southern California wine country. However, they have opened up a distillery where they are making some fantastic craft spirits. And if you've never really had a chance to try craft spirits before, I highly advise that you do. It's sort of like the first time you had a craft brew. Uh, it's not a lot different. The first time you had a craft coffee. You've been drinking Maxwell House your whole life and suddenly you find Starbucks. You've been drinking PBR for your entire life and suddenly you find Dogfish Head. You know, it's not a lot different than that. Um, you may have been probably drinking a number of spirits over the years. However, this... Now, I'm a bourbon person. I do like bourbon. And as we learned in Season 1, Episode 1, California Distilleries, bourbon, the difference between bourbon and whiskey is simple. Uh, whiskey, all whiskeys are made from four main grains, corn, barley, rye, or wheat. And in order for it to be bourbon, it has to be at least 51% corn. Uh, the Tiller family, who owns California distilleries, they have a 300-year tradition of moonshining and legally distilling and illegally distilling over the years. Uh, it goes all the way back to County Cork, Ireland. And their bourbon is done the old-fashioned family way where they add 75 to 85% of corn. And I happen to like that, that flavor profile. Um, the rules for bourbon, again, has to be at least 51% corn. It has to be aged in a charred, brand new oak barrel, uh, unused. It can only be used once and then it gets thrown away. And a lot of times those barrels go over to places like Scotland, where they age their scotch in used American oak barrels. And the other thing bourbon needs, it has to be distilled in America. So uh, Canadian whiskey, they can, a uh, uh, maker, distiller, they can make a bourbon, but they can't use the word bourbon. They would have to call it Canadian corn whiskey or something like that. It's champagne, sparkling wine, it's all the same thing. So now I am not one of those people who, oh, I can smell cloves and blue. You know, I'm not one of those tasters uh, that you so often see and make fun of on TV. Um, but when I smell this, uh, what I smell primarily is caramel. Um, you, and that's the, thing, that's the thing with like bourbons, they all smell like caramel. It's, it's the oak, it's the char, it's the corn, it's all, everything kind of combined together and produces that really nice caramel smell. And I also maybe be a little vanilla as well. But I'm sure a, uh, a professional taste tester could probably find 50 different uh, fragrances in here. I got two, you know, and that's pretty good for me, really, actually. So I'm pretty proud of myself. But this is, uh, this is bottled at proof. Uh, one of the things that they do at California distilleries is they put it in the, in the, in the, the oak barrels at proof. So they don't put it in strong and then water it down when it comes out to bottle. They put it in right at strength. And when it comes out, it basically goes straight into the bottle. And as you can see, I have been drinking this one. Uh, I do like it a lot, it's very good. Uh, this, well, let's, let's have a little taste. That is just a fantastic bourbon. It's just 
it's it's just great. The thing about the uh, the Tiller family, and and I've mentioned it in the previous tastings, uh, a, a, a distillation has heads, bad, has hearts, good, has tails, bad, really really bad, bad but not enough to kill you bad, not enough to run a tractor on bad, um, and. So you don't get a lot of that hospital smell. You don't get that kind of, that bite at the end that you get with a lot of cheaper or commercially, big commercially distilled products. It's, it's just, it's just smooth. And it's at 80 proof, which a lot of bourbons are 90, 92. So it, this is 80, so it is a little bit down as far as strength is concerned. but it's just so smooth. And this particular bourbon goes for $40. I purchased it for $40 twice now. And I challenge you to find another bourbon of this quality at that price point. You're not gonna get it from any of the big distillers. Nowhere, it's not gonna happen. Now, you may have a craft distiller in your neighborhood, which makes similar quality, similar prices. Uh, that is something that you'll have to find out on your own. But in the meantime, if you happen to run across a bottle of California bourbon whiskey, I highly recommend you picking it up. I'm George Maurer. I'm the Gentleman Boozer. And thank you for joining me for this edition of Tastings. And if you enjoyed this episode, I please ask you to like, to share, and of course, subscribe. Yeah.